650 people have died since a major earthquake hit Ecuador 11 days ago. Local nonprofit Direct Relief is doing its part to help out the survivors. The organization packed up a big medical supply shipment this afternoon. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live from Santa Barbara with the story. And Tracy, it took a while to get government approval. It sure did. Direct Relief had to work with the government to get a green light to make sure everything being sent is needed. Pallets of supplies are being plastic wrapped at Direct Relief in Goleta. They will soon be flown 3,500 miles to Ecuador. That's where a 7.8 magnitude quake struck April 16th. Mainly what you see here, the 44 tons, is all medical supplies. There's uh, antibiotics for the wound, kind of infection control. There's a lot of surgical supplies, wound care items, gauze, bandages, and kind of a giant first aid kit with some specialized drugs that have been requested um, item by item. Every item had to be approved by Ecuador's government. Direct Relief's Latin American program manager is there, ready to receive the shipment. We're here preparing for the arrival of two very large shipments of medical supplies and medicine that will go directly to both the Ministry of Health and to our local partners that are here on the ground, very involved in search and rescue and providing emergency surgeries and, and medical assistance. The supplies will help survivors, including 25,000 people now in shelters. I just got this call from this young woman in Ecuador, and she was talking about how there's so many parts of the country that haven't been reached yet. There's still a need, even though uh, it happened a little while ago. Every dollar donated to the nonprofit has the buying power of $35. It's incredible to see the dedication and the communities coming together, and we're really looking forward to be able to get this aid to the people that most need it as soon as possible. And the supplies are valued at about $2 million, and you'll find a link to donate on our website at KYT.com. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Tracy. Now to